Having your team working effectively while offering each team member the opportunity to stay in his preferred application is always a challenge. Well, up to now. My name is Sharif, a solution architect at Connecting Software, and today I'm going to show you how you could finally offer your team members the joy of working in Outlook while having everything centralized and secured in one central collaboration system SharePoint in our example. This is the magic work of SharePoint Exchange Sync. I will explain that magic today through the story of Eric, Greg, Jamie and Jolien, three professionals with common company goals but different preferences when it comes to business applications. We have here Eric, the manager. Eric is in love with SharePoint. And why not? It's one central location for everything. Appointments, tasks, contacts, documents, and everything he needs to manage his teams and have a quick overview of the operations. He likes to create the meetings for his team members in the SharePoint calendar. But the problem is, his team likes to use Outlook. Each team member has one application, Outlook, with appointments, tasks, emails, and contacts just related to him or her. That's good for each team member, but not for the whole team. Till now, one side had to compromise. Either Eric has to break up with SharePoint, or all team members are forced to use SharePoint. Ah, forcing and breakups are no-go. Thanks to SharePoint Exchange Sync, whole team can work effectively and each member can use what they like. As the product syncs all operations between SharePoint and Exchange or Outlook bidirectionally, Eric could simply go to SharePoint and create that meeting with his team members. Not only that, he could simply by a click of a button check who is busy and who is free and choose a suitable time for the meeting. The meeting will be sent to all the attendees. Greg, the marketing manager, gets a notification and he accepts it. Jamie, the graphics designer, gets a notification and he marks it tentative as he is in the train. And Julian, the sales, doesn't reply immediately as he is with a customer. Eric could easily open the meeting in SharePoint and he could see the responses of the people there. He could as well update the meeting and everyone would get the updates. Eric finds SharePoint tasks list very useful as it's one place where he could see the tasks of all his team members and the status of each task. Jamie, the marketing manager, always complains that he has to browse through the tasks of everyone else and he wants to stay in his Outlook and to work with his task list only. Pretty understandable. Thanks to SharePoint Exchange Sync, it's also achievable. Eric can assign a task to his marketing manager to follow up with a printing company for the marketing materials and a task to his graphics designer to create the sketch for that new video. And one more task to his sales to follow up with the clients who wanted to start a free trial. Greg updates the task and marks complete as he just received the marketing materials. Jamie updates the task that he is halfway through. And Julian updates the task that he needs the prospect's mobile number as he is not reachable by phone. Eric just goes back to the SharePoint task list and sees the progress of all the tasks there in one place as he likes. He notices the task of Julian and shares the prospect's contact details by importing them to the contacts list in SharePoint. He updates the task as well. A 
few seconds later, Julian sees that his task is updated in his Outlook. And when opening it, he sees a link that takes him to SharePoint. As we know Julian, he wants to stay in his Outlook. Good news for him is he could easily do that by syncing that contact to his Outlook. Finally, Eric likes to have an idea about the email communications happening during the day so he could provide his inputs and help when needed, but he won't ask his team to forward emails or put him in CC. That would be one big messy inbox, plus people forget sometimes to use CCs. Thanks to SharePoint Exchange Sync, this process could be automatic with no extra effort from the team and no messy inboxes using the email import feature of the product, emails along with attachments could selectively be imported to SharePoint by choosing certain emails, or automatically by choosing a certain mailbox folder. Using the email import feature of the product, you do have the opportunity to store your emails for reference, archiving or compliance. As we could see, using SharePoint Exchange Sync creates that coherence between SharePoint and Exchange. It enables those two systems to complete each other and offers the Outlook-oriented team members the opportunity to work well with the SharePoint-oriented team members. Try it yourself now. Contact us at office at connectingsoftware.com and we will be more than happy to offer you a free trial. As always, thank you for watching.